In today's video, I'm going to be doing a speed test and a full review of the pluggable Thunderbolt 3 NVMe portable solid state drive. This video is sponsored by Editor's Keys. Now, if you're watching this particular video, you're most likely a content creator of some description. Well, Editor's Keys range of backlit keyboards with keyboard shortcuts printed on them and also a range of keyboard overlays will make your video editing and audio production so much faster. You can find them at editorskeys.com and there's a link down in the video description. Full disclosure, Pluggable sent this in free of charge for this video. I'm going to be giving you my honest opinion about the speed and why you would want a product like this. And let's cover that off straight away. Why would you need a super fast, really well made external solid state drive? Well, if you're a content creator like myself and you make a lot of videos and you need something that you can actually edit off of, so an external drive that enables you to edit 4K or maybe even 8K resolution videos, then something like this is a really good product to have in your kit bag. Now, it comes in various capacities. I happen to have the one terabyte version here with me today. And it's a really solid enclosure, full metal enclosure. Uh, really nice design on the sides, which also helps dissipate any heat that might build up in the product, which is very minimal actually. And also it's got a captive cable on the top, which is terminated in a Thunderbolt 3 connection. To get the best performance, you're going to be connecting this to a Thunderbolt 3 port, something like the Thunderbolt 3 that appears on the latest generation of Apple MacBook Pro. So you don't have to use it with an Apple computer. If you've got a Thunderbolt 3 capable port, then you're going to get really good data speeds with this. Now, inside the box, you get the drive itself. You also get a little instruction manual and you also get a little drawstring carry pouch. Uh, that's really nice because it saves this getting sort of dinged up or scratched. Uh, this is like a, a metal enclosure. It's PVD coated and it looks really nice. It looks like a, a very nice, robust drive, a nice portable form factor. But I guess what you really want to know is how it performs. So here we've got the pluggable Thunderbolt 3 drive plugged into the Thunderbolt 3 port on my MacBook Pro. You can see a little tiny LED light shining through the case here. And we're going to test the speed of this with Blackmagic Design's disk speed test software. Now we've already selected this as the target drive and we're going to click start. And wow, look at these speeds. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's give you a closer look at the speeds this is achieving. Just look at this, on the right speed, we're getting 1,350 megabytes per second, and on the read speed, around about sort of 1,248, 1,250 megabytes per second. It's actually peaking a little bit faster on some of the read and write speeds, but an average of around about sort of 1,370 on the write and 1,250 on the read. That is absolutely fantastic, more than capable of being able to use this for editing both 4K video and possibly some 6K or even 8K footage directly off of the drive. That is absolutely a fantastic turn of speed. So as you saw there, this is a great performer, very fast read and write speeds. If you're a content creator of any description, that could be a video editor, maybe you're a photographer and you like to edit your photos whilst you're on the move, then this is an essential piece of kit. I've been really impressed over my last couple of weeks testing this. The read and write speeds are fantastic. It's a very robust unit, extremely well made, and I love the portable form factor. If you want to pick up one for yourself, I've left some links down in the video description, so please do check those out. And also, please do check out the link to the pluggable website. Not only do they make this great product, but a whole range of different peripherals for your computer as well. Now, one last thing. Well, a few. Please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you've got any questions or comments at all, leave them in the comments section below. And if you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another one very, very soon.